How many of you are glad that he is Emmanuel, God with us? Amen. He is the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you ask someone in the Old Testament, which is the holiest country, in, uh, nation in the, uh, in the world, they'll say Israel. In, in Jerusalem, the holiest spot, all right, they'll say the Temple Mount. In the Temple Mount, the holiest of holiest in the Temple Mount, in the Temple itself, is literally called the holiest of holiest. And right, the holiest of all, the centerpiece is the mercy seat. So right at the heart of holiness, the holiest thing you can ever preach, the holiest thing you can ever meditate on, is the mercy, is the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
So I come to my third point. Wow, very fast. You see, very fast one. Hallelujah. <laughs> to receive grace and be grateful. You see, uh, if you understand grace, right? We will become every day receiving grace. How do you know you are you are actually understanding grace? Every day you will start receiving. Because only those who receive the abundance of grace. Because in the church is open heaven to us. And your life is open heaven because Jesus is inside your you. Wherever you go, it's open heaven. It's just that right now we are we are troubled by what we see, we're troubled by what we feel, we're troubled by what's happening in the family or in the finances. And your eyes keep focusing on it, it's gonna be worse. But when you take your eyes off and look at Jesus, that is your salvation. Salvation comes when you begin to behold Christ Jesus. No one is too bad that he cannot save. And no one is too good that don't need to be saved. Always know that God wants to save us, God wants to bless us. You know, I want all of you to close your eyes and bow your head. Amen. And you are here in the presence of God. I want you to know that God loves you and God wants to bless you. Thank you.